as a Jew born and raised in America and having served in the army in Israel, I always felt conflicted between these two identities. I mean, in Israel, I felt too American, and in America, I felt too Israeli. When I discovered that many people felt this way, these two homes, there seemed to be an opportunity to create an environment for people to connect to Israel in a deeper way. And so I invited a bunch of friends together to sit around a table and begin a discussion and a conversation about how to connect deeper to Israel. And so we had Israeli Jews living in New York and American Jews living in New York. And together we sat around and discussed how to create a bridge with each other and how to build a community that would connect us deeper to Israel. Thus began a journey for Dor Hadash in 2003 that has taken us to this day. When we started Dor Hadash, no one knew what to expect. And so we invited people to our first event, which was really a social gathering, just to test the idea. And we were surprised at the number of people who showed up, people who we didn't know even lived in New York. The response was fantastic. And from that grew a whole series of programs that have led to what we have today. It is that energy and commitment of the volunteers that has been the hallmark of Dor Hadash. From the beginning, we felt that the sky's the limit. There was no limit to what we could achieve when we worked together. Indeed, it was a grassroots movement that coalesced together around the belief that a group of people, Israeli and American Jews, could come together to define a new generation's way of connecting and embracing Israel. One great example of that is Yom Atzmud, the Israeli independence celebration. Just five years ago, there was no communal celebration in New York. What began as just a simple idea has now grown into 104 organizations coming together once a year. A rare thing in the Jewish community to see groups from all walks of life come together and celebrate Israel's independence. Just last year, 9,000 people alone came to Radio City to celebrate. 